What more do you all need? I told you all that the Sooners were putting in work in the transfer portal, but in a more focused way. And one of those focal points just pulled up, baby. Fabichu Weiwu, the offensive lineman from North Texas, just committed to the Sooners. He's going to be coming here as a transfer. He is a redshirt sophomore, and so he has a little bit of experience especially since has, he has over um, 1,600 snaps. So let's dive into Fabici, what he brings to this Oklahoma offensive line, and why I told y'all I wasn't really too concerned about the players leaving. Let's dive into it. But before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank y'all for pulling up to the channel. As we stated before, I'm going to stop here. Hop in the comments. Let me know how y'all feeling about the Sooners picking up a beachy Waywu. How do you feel about them adding another offensive lineman from the portal to help bolster what people feel like is a thinned room? Um, I know we lost Caden Green, which is was a big player to lose, while at the same time, told y'all, man, Bill Beatonbow knows what he's doing and he always figures it out. So love to hear from you all on that. If you've made it, here, you like the content, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Love for y'all to join this family of college football fans. Talk a lot of OU football, but we're expanding college football in general. Having a blast doing it. So let's jump into Wei Wu. Let's jump into Fabici. Look at his measurables. Look at everything about him and maybe watch some film. All right, you know what it is. Fabici Wei Wu. Let's look at these measurables, man. Six foot four, 316 pounds. Man. On that offensive line, he comes to us from North Texas by way of Coppell, Texas. And the good thing is, is that we have a familiarity with this young man, especially out of North Texas, because who was his head coach? You got it, Seth Luttrell, our current offensive coordinator. And uh, yeah, so Luttrell has familiarity with him. And decided that, yeah, this is one player we're definitely going to go after. But when I went and dove into the numbers here, there's something about Fabici that jumped out that really got me pretty excited, right? So as a freshman, he was on multiple All-American lists as a freshman. Second team with the Athletic All-Freshman team. Third team at um, Freshman All-American for CFN. Conference USA, All-American third team from the coaches, and third team All-Conference USA from PFF. Like So in a lot of places, this dude was considered on the All-American team. This past season, that was his freshman year, Resher freshman year, that is. This past season, he was actually listed third team All-AAC AAC for, yeah, exactly, right. He gets recognition. He's, he's pretty good. Like, he can play. And so... He's got over 1,600 snaps, to be exact, that number, 1,612 snaps over the last three seasons. So he played two games as a true freshman, redshirted, sort of preserved it. As a redshirt freshman, he had 883 snaps, and last year he had 713. And he played majority of those snaps at the right guard spot. His, his freshman year... He spent all of it at right guard. Last season, he went between right guard and right tackle. So he's got experience playing on that right side of the field. That's critical, right? Grade-wise, he had a lot of really good games. And overall, his run grade was pretty nice at 71 from PFF. That, to me, is pretty huge for what we're trying to do, right? We're, we're trying to get the run game back established, something that we we struggled with last season. But when we got going, we got going. I mean, Gavin Salchuk did see over 100 yards over what, the last four games of the season. But adding a lineman that's really good at pushing on the run helps, right? We're losing McKay Matower, who is technically a redshirt senior, but I believe he still has his um, he still has another year left potential. But he's expected to be gone and go into the pros. So this just bolsters up. Now, there's no official announcements on McKay Tower, but Fabici coming in for the right guard, you can add him with a Spencer Brown, and hopefully we get word from another guard that's in the portal right now that we're talking to. Hopefully we hear from him very soon, but Fabici comes in here, and the last game of the season against UAB put up a 75 grade, 74 on the run, 82 on the pass, 
And just overall season at 71 as far as his PFF grade, which gives a holistic look of the way that they play, the impact of the plays, etc. But like I said, majority of his run from the third week on this season was right guard, which is pretty big for what we're trying to do here at Oklahoma because having a right-handed quarterback and having linemen that can hold up enough it's really good because he can see what's in front of him, right? The blind side is where you want your veterans, and we'll have veteran presence in the left tackle and the left guard position, so I have zero concern there, especially at the center, too. We'll have a couple of vets that'll be able to do some things, but Fabici just does nothing but add to the class of versatility that this guy, Bill Beatonbow, is going to be putting in work on, right? Had a few of y'all ask about these shirts. You can get them in the description below. Check it out. So... Yeah, we're 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 going for particular players that's gonna help what we're trying to do. So at six four three sixteen, he just adds to this line and bolsters it up. Get those big boys going as we head right into the SEC. And Beaten Bow's gonna be able to play around, mold him into the player we need him to be. Man, don't be surprised if here about Wu ended up uh in a draft and going at a nice spot in the next three years, right? Yeah, I ain't gonna be complaining. I promise you that. So that's our latest transfer portal commitment. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know what's your thoughts. How y'all feeling about way we were pulling up, becoming a sooner. And what you think about being Bo's job of bringing in some big boys that we can mold because like I said, he picks particular players that are versatile. If you made it this far, you like the content, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We'd love for y'all to join this family of college football fans. Majority of y'all that watch don't subscribe. Y'all should go ahead and help us get to 14,000 subs. We are going to hit that bad boy if you people hit those buttons, right? So, again, a few of y'all have asked about the shirts, the hoodies that I rock. You can find those in the Unfair Sports Shop. Just look for Frozen Tees in the description below or merchandise link. It's down below me. As well as throughout the video, you'll see tagged products. Feel free to grab one if you want to support the show. We appreciate it. I do this because I like making funny looking shirt graphic tees of the coaches. And I assume a lot of y'all like it. So grab you one, show your support as we head over into the SEC and show them that we're SEC ready, right? Well, YouTube says check out one of these videos. I highly recommend it because I put it together for you. And uh, we'll have some more videos coming down the line over the weekend. Holidays are coming up. And so I want to make sure I keep y'all busy with content. We'll talk soon. Happy holidays. Peace.